guys gonna help me today? You gonna help me puppies? Oh, no, you don't get to help. We're gonna ad lib it this week a little bit. Now, I'm gonna not work from script or anything. We're gonna try to, uh, to do one of these. It's a little bit more realistic, behind the scenes kind of stuff. Um, last week I had some questions. Hey, how did you do the thing where you're sitting at the desk and you had yourself effect to a white mat? I'm gonna show you the desk thing, but we're gonna go from here over to my workstation set and you're gonna get to see a little bit behind the scenes. So, as promised last week, um, we said we would uh, show you some After Effects compositing, some tough stuff. Well, this backdrop here is awful. However, it is keyable. And it's keyable if you, uh, you know, if you have to go a few extra clicks, a few extra tweaks, we can get it to happen, but it's hard to make that happen with just a single click sample of the color, because as you can see, there are all kinds of variations in this backdrop. You see some right here, there's wrinkles over here. I've worked with worse. So let's uh, dive right in and I'll show you how I did that shot at the desk last week. I have uh, Adobe Premiere Pro opened up here. We're gonna locate uh, some test footage that I shot of myself. We wanna put a virtual set behind me. So uh, we're gonna go back over here to the effects panel, which is down here in the lower corner. And as we did last week, we used Ultra Key. Now Ultra Key is pretty good, but in the case of this mat here, can we pull it off is the question. I sat and messed with this for a long time last week and what we what we end up with is, uh, is something that we're not gonna be very happy with. So the better way, the better method to key this is to go into Adobe After Effects. So if I come back down here to my timeline and I right click on uh, the clip and I say replace with an After Effects composition, you have to have After Effects on your machine from the Adobe Creative Suite. It's going to launch After Effects and it's already created a composition for me and has loaded in my source footage. So anyway, there's the groovy guy. Uh, we're gonna go up to Effects and we're going to come down here to Keying and we're going to drop in Key Light 1.2, comes with After Effects. And this is going to give us some options here that we don't have available to us in, uh, in the basic stuff that's in Premiere. So we're gonna Come over here, we're gonna sample that color and we can look at our mat. Well, combined mat would be the thing that we wanna look at. As you can see all this noise, we wanna to start to tweak with that. But as you can see right there, the first setting, we just wanna start working south on these settings. The first one begins to dial that out some, but it's also deteriorating more and more the inside, my area, which I want to be completely white. So in order to combat that a little bit, we bring that back a little bit with the next setting, the balance. I usually leave these next two settings gray. I do add in a little bit of screen pre-blur. Then the next one is where we're really gonna see some, some differences. We wanna get rid of that noise that's down here. To see if I play this, there's plenty of noise down there. And you can see we're getting rid of most of that. And then on the white areas, we're gonna bring that back a little bit with the clip white. We're going to add that back in, just like that. Now we're looking pretty sharp here, okay? So if I go back and look at the final result, okay? There's the final result. There's a handsome guy right there, look at that guy. So let's drop a background in behind this. So now we've got the virtual set behind me. Now, what do we, what do, we do about these corners out here? This is junk out here around the edges. We want to create a, a separate mat that will clean this up and make this a full screen uh, composite over this backdrop. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna select the, uh, the pin tool here. I am going to drop in points around my person that are going to capture just me and are going to exclude and junk mat out everything that's outside and voila, look at that. Now we have a pretty clean key. That's what we've got in After Effects. That's how you do the tough ones. This was part three of Chroma King. Next week, we're gonna move on to a different topic altogether. Ty signing out for breakingmodern.com.